Hello everybody! Welcome back to another craft video. If you saw a few of my other videos, you will notice that I have a totally different background now. The reason is that we finally gave up our apartment and the black hole is gone together with all of my other furniture and belongings. And now we are traveling full time and we are spending a few days in this nice cabin here in the woods. And after all the work of the last few weeks, I actually wanted to take a day off today and my main goal in life was to film that squirrel that always steals the bird food from the feeder there. But of course the squirrel takes forever to come and I got bored, so I remembered that a few weeks ago, before all this mess started, I actually filmed a craft tutorial where I showed you how I migrate my tasks from one day to another and how I set up templates. So today I finally took the time to edit this and this is how far I got. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations on how to make the shortcut better, please feel free to just comment them below. And as always, you can download the shortcut on my blog and I will also leave the link in the description. And without further ado, let's move over to craft. So as you can see, my document for today is still empty. And if I go back to yesterday, there's still a few tasks that I have not done yesterday. So what I used to do was to open yesterday and today in split view and just drag and drop things across, but that's quite time consuming. But with the help of shortcuts, I created a faster way to copy the undone tasks to today and the tasks that I have done, I copied to a separate document, kind of an archive, because I really don't like to keep them here in my daily view. And the shortcut does not copy any other things except the tasks. So all those headlines, and if I add any notes, will not be copied to my archive document or to the next day. But what I added to my shortcut is that it will create my three headlines, so must do, habits, and could do. And it also adds automatically those tasks that I do every day. So in my case, it's to go for a walk and to study Portuguese. So now let me show you what happens when I run my shortcut. If I run my shortcut, it will automatically take me to yesterday's page. Then I just go copy and paste all the items that are there. Then I wait for a few seconds and then it will automatically sort them into done and undone tasks. Here you can see the tasks that I did not get done yesterday. It automatically added them to my maybe because that's where I want them to have. And as you can see here, it creates my three headlines. Plus it adds those two daily habits that I have. And when I press done, it will add it to today's daily note. And here you can see all the tasks that I got done yesterday. And as you can see, it also added yesterday's date. Today is 23, yesterday was 22. And if I press done, it will copy it to a separate archive document. And then automatically it will open my today's daily view. And as you can see, my three headlines are here, my daily habits are here, and here there are all those tasks that I did not get done yesterday. And I choose these tasks to show up in maybe because I want to be able to select which ones I make my must do for the day. Or so from here on, I would just go ahead and do my regular planning, like I showed you in my other video about how I use Craft as my task manager. But I just quickly want to go ahead and explain to you my shortcut because maybe some one of you has an idea on how to improve a few things. And I also believe that this walkthrough will be helpful for all of you who downloaded this shortcut on my blog but have no idea on how to adapt it to their needs. So this is how far I got. As a first step, it opens my daily note from yesterday in Craft. Then it waits for 10 seconds and in that time I just copy and paste everything that is in my daily note. I don't care about sorting anything or removing anything because it will only copy my done and undone tasks at the end. So unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no way yet to automatically copy and paste all those things out of craft, so I have to do it manually. I have a keyboard, so all I do is press Command A and Command C, but if you would need more time to do this example by hand, you can increase and decrease the waiting time there to give you more or less time. Then as a next step, it gets the text from the clipboard and it splits the text into separate lines. Then it filters the text when the name contains a minus and two square brackets, which signifies an undone task. Then it combines this filter with my new lines that I created up here. And then I have a text here. 
So here you can see I added my three headers, must do habits and maybe. It adds my two daily tasks as open to do's, study Portuguese and go for a walk or workout. And here in maybe, like I wanted, it adds my undone tasks that it filtered before. And then this little pop-up that you saw is here, show text. This could theoretically be removed, but I just prefer to have it there to see if everything goes according to plan. And then as a last step, it adds the text to my daily note from today. So if you would not want to put your done tasks into an archive document, you could already delete all the rest. But I like to do that and it's basically almost the same thing. It gets what it copied from the clipboard, it splits it into line, but this time it just filters it into everything that starts like this, minus square bracket and the X in between, because that signifies that it's a done task. And then it will just combine the filter with the new lines and have a text here. And as you can see, I have a headline with the date, but since I always do it the next day in the morning, but I want to have the date of yesterday, I have a thing here called adjusted date, which basically subtracts one day from my current date. So it will add yesterday's date plus my done tasks. And again, it will show it to me and then add it to my finished to do's. And then as a last step, it will open the today view in my documents so I don't have to click on that manually anymore. So this is my routine that I use every day and the shortcut that I created for it. And don't forget that you can download it on my blog. I will leave the link below. And if you are very new to craft and you have no idea where to start, I already created a few helpful tutorials for you that I will link somewhere right here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.